Okay, now that's really awesome, man. First of all, since you are a military wife, I want to say thank you and your family for your service. And <laughs> you know, the thing is, uh, but it's really interesting that you said that because it's like you know, it's it's really amazing, like you know, social media and especially blogging and podcasts has allowed people to get their message out to to many of our audience that they never would have happened before. Right. Yeah. So. So now this is a question here. So why do you think, um, like, first of all, how important is a social media of like for like, like for yourself and for anyone who's like trying to build a brand per se? Social media is, I, I, I think people, a lot of times the the first thing they think when they, when they want to start a company or they want to start a business is to build a website, which is fantastic. That's obviously, that's great. But, um, personally, I mean, I really think that the place to start and where you're going to grab your audience is social media because that's where everybody is. And social media is in the now it's right now. And so I think that if you are planning on growing a business or growing, regardless of what it is or what you're doing, whether it's a, a good or a service, you you really need to focus on what platforms are you know for you. And then I would I would run with them in terms of that's where you you let people know I'm here. This is what I'm doing, and I'm building a website. And while I'm building a website, I'm going to build my customer base on social media, whether that's Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, whatever your platform is, where your target market is, that's where you need to hit it. And for us, like our target market's military. And so our our traffic to, to push our traffic over to our website is on social media and it's on you know Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And I don't think just by building a website, you're not going to grab your audience because not everybody is going to go to Google and just type in, you know, military coupons or military savings or whatever it might be. But what are they going to do? They're going to go on Facebook because I mean, 90 percent. Let's let's be straight here. 90 percent of the world has a Facebook. And so mm. it's if not more. And so you they're going to go on Facebook and they're going to search you on Facebook. And that's so you I would you need to start there, because if you want to find anybody, regardless, if you're trying to find you know, the, the middle schoolers, your target market, your tween up to, you know, your, you know, your baby boomers. I mean, everybody has, everybody's on social media, everybody. And so if you want to find an audience, then that you need to start there and that's where you build and you can build from there and then you can push them over to your site from social media. All right. And speaking of social media, uh, you are killing it on Snapchat, which real, which many people might not know that you only been on Snapchat for almost less than a month now, yeah, and you're already uh, killing it. Oh, and you're already killing it very <laughs> well, you know. So, it's so, 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 can you share with us uh, first of all your story of how you got onto Snapchat and how has that benefited uh, your yourself and also your business and also sure. your the military company business. Sure. I, um, I actually, when I first started with Snapchat, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I thought it was the most ridiculous, stupid platform I'd ever seen in my life because I honestly had, I didn't understand it. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't quite get the whole, you know, 24 hours and the 10 second videos. And, and I just thought it was ridiculous. So I didn't understand it. Then I went to the social media marketing world in San Diego. And that's where I met Ryan Pena. And he really kind of gave me a nutshell of 30 minutes of this is this is Snapchat. And so it got, you know, my wires going and got everything in my brain going. And it made me realize, oh, OK, yeah, I, I think I can do this and I think I can use this a totally different way that I, I could really market, you know, my military savings, but through a different way. And so what I did was I took it from the military lifestyle aspect and I kind of took it as the Bobby show of um, following the military spouse and is um, my, yeah, I know I, I hated it too. And I love it now too. And I, what's funny is my, my kids laugh at me all the time because they have been on Snapchat forever. And they have tried to get me to use it. And I'm like, no, that's dumb. There's no way. That's not going to benefit a business. But I think you have to look at it in a different way. You kind of have to go like this with it and move it. Because 
it's it, there's there's an interesting way you can market your business, but you kind of have to market it from a lifestyle perspective. So mm -hmm. there's a way of me at the commissary and me walking around, or you know, me uh, doing different things with my family. So it's kind of like people are following me as the military spouse. But within that, I plug my military savings all the time. And I don't even think people are realizing that I'm constantly plugging my military savings. They don't realize that by me talking about, you know, Chips Ahoy cookies that I'm eating and the brand new Chips Ahoy cookies that are coming out or, you know, the the, the new uh, Purina bacon strips that are coming out that I'm talking about because my dog Autumn loves them. They don't even realize that that's my that's one of my brands and I'm actually plugging my brand. And so I, that's the way that I'm moving with it. And but I'm also throwing in the fact that I'm ridiculous and I'm silly and I'm loud and I'm obnoxious and hence the spitfire. And I'm just like, this is me. And I put it out there and it's people just kind of have followed it and ran with it. And and I, you know, I make a fool of myself, you know, on a daily basis with Snapchat, but that's really how Snapchat is. It's you, you have to be okay with putting yourself out there and, and making a mistake. Like last night, I, I recorded all this stuff last night and I was having so much fun. I, I had just got back from being at the ball field all night and I was recording all this stuff about Instagram. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just was trying to download all of my story and I just deleted everything. Hmm, that's fantastic. <laughs> and I was like, way to go. Way to go, Bobby. And it was like, oh, well, who cares? Oh, well, just redo it. It's not a big deal. And so is Snapchat for everybody? I think that honestly, if you know how to use it and if you can and you can use it correctly, I don't think it's just for the tween market. I really don't. And a lot of people have thought that and a lot of people have said you're too old to use it. And I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so at all. Because I think that it's everybody is using it to their advantage. And I think that it's it's not just for, hey, I'm marketing these shoes or, hey, I'm an athlete and I'm doing this or, you know, I, I, I have protein shakes or whatever the case may be. I think if you can plug it in a way of my lifestyle is fun and this is what I do and I'm crazy and I'm obnoxious and you know, this is my lifestyle. Oh yeah. But don't forget to check out, you know, this new drink that Pepsi has, cause it's really good. I just plugged a bit. I just plugged a product right there and whether or not people are realizing it, I'm, I'm, I'm marketing to them constantly while I'm on Snapchat, whether it's through my t-shirt or whether it's through, you know, different things I have going on. Maybe it's the headband that I'm wearing that you don't even realize I'm doing it, but I'm marketing to you the entire time. And I think that's what people have to do. And it's, yeah. And I think that honestly, if um, people would jump on it in terms of like recruiters, if you're in like the recruiting business, or if you um, are marketing to college kids or marketing to people that are trying to go to college, for instance, I, yeah, I would, I would hit it definitely because they're on there and that's what they're doing. And it's, you, you really have to figure out how to use it and you have to figure out where your niche is and how you're going to use it to your advantage and it's okay to mess up on there because in 24 hours it's going to be gone anyways and it doesn't even matter so that that's that's the beauty of it